wall hair wall hair this guy over there is gonna get really annoyed with me I'm at my coffee shop today because I have two hours in town with nothing to do and a video I have to make today I am talking about four TV shows that were canceled before their time first we have Bunheads. this was on in 2012 and actually just got canceled a few days ago Bunhead stars a washed up Vegas showgirl, Michelle Sims, as she comes to a small California town and ends up teaching dance to a bunch of teenagers. This show follows a cast of characters ranging in age from about 16 to 60. This show is well written, fast paced, and full of witty banter. This is a show that you can marathon, sit down and just watch the whole season. It doesn't get tiring and you always want more. You can't just sit down and watch one episode of Bunhead. Next we have a show called The Unusuals. This is a cop drama following Detective Casey Schrager, played by Amber Tamlin. Casey Schrager is assigned to the division to help reform the other officers. And the quirky, unusual characters make for a very good show. Detective Schrager mixes with this band of unlikely characters and they come together and solve crime. They're characters that, although very flawed, you come to love and want to see all of their adventures. This show was scheduled for one 10 episode season and got to run for the full first season and was not renewed for a second. Next we have Cult. In the show, Jeff's brother Nate has gone missing and Jeff believes it's due to the TV show Cult. He teams up with Sky, a production assistant on Cult, and they go back and investigate Cult to see what is happening and if they actually were responsible for his brother's disappearance. Cult is the show within the show. The show features scenes from the show within the show. I like this show because of its new take on the crime drama and also its use of technology and a second media being the second show to play with the story and do something other than the usual narrative we're used to. Cult is very topical in the worlds of YouTube and Tumblr because it's kind of saying, you know, what happens when fans get super crazy? What happens when the show is no longer a show and takes on this life of its own and people start reading into it more than what it actually is? The show was canceled after seven episodes with the remaining six already filmed. Two months later, they aired the remaining six episodes, two each Friday. Finally, we have The Deep End with only six episodes. This show followed a group of first year lawyers as they started their time in a new firm. It's an ensemble cast with names such as Norbert Leo Butts and Tina Majorino. The writing is strong and the characters are all very likable in their own quirky, distinctive ways. The show is fast paced and full of quotable moments. The flaw in this show was the marketing. It was marketed as Grey's Anatomy or Desperate Housewives-esque, very soap opera-y, when in actuality it was a procedural. Although only six episodes, it's definitely worth the watch. In fact, all of these are. Deep End is the only one currently available on Netflix. I really recommend you go find them all and watch them. Although they're already cancelled, you'll be glad you have them in your life. And then weep in a corner, because they ended. Okay, bye. What am I doing?